So let's have a look at something really interesting, solubility of polymers. So a polymer is a very large repeating molecule, and they tend to be covalent molecules. Now they're not covalent lattice network. They are a covalent molecule, but essentially a series of smaller molecules strung together. Our goal here, by the way, is that by the end of this, we want to talk about how water's polarity either affects or doesn't affect the, its, like, its solubility for, po for polymers. Okay. Now, we want to be able to show this using models, like a, a stick and ball model or a molly mod kit, something like that, maybe a little star structure or a structural diagram. Basically, we want to be able to model this at the end. Now, let's have a look at what a polymer is. So here, we have this one unit. Okay, it's a, it's a molecule, so it's covalent, and it's just a small molecule. Now, what actually happens is a polymer becomes, is when we get a long chain of these things. They're particularly common in biology, so, or plastics. Plastics are all polymers. So we get these long chain that just repeats and repeats and repeats. So much so that when we'd write the formula, for example, if we're talking about ethylene, we'll write the formula of, and we'll put a couple of hydrogens off there, right? So that's all straightforward. That's ethylene. But when we want to talk about ethylene as a polymer, so polyethylene, we actually draw... Now here we have the polymer of ethylene. So we've got this little N here, which means number, which means this is a repeating thing, which is thousands of long, thousands of units long. So when we talk polymers, we're talking very, very large molecules. Here are three different biological examples. These are all different polymers of glucose. So this is glucose being repeated over and over. You can see sometimes we get starch, which will be this like repeating straight lines. Then we'll have cellulose, which will be repeating patterns that switch. Then we'll have glycogen, which is a repeating branched pattern. But it's all repeating patterns of the same monomer. So there's a lot of variability in there as well. Now, water tends to be unable to break these down because it's really strong intramolecular bonds, so it won't se won't separate them. But on top of that, the molecule, while so the molecule is very very long, which means it's unable to create a hydrosphere around it large enough to dissolve it. I hope that made sense. And if it didn't, put any questions you have in the comments below. And we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thanks for watching. Bye now.